Good morning and welcome back to our final segment here on Svidion. I often talk about blood because blood is life and blood doesn't lie and we all need the gift of blood. And nobody knows that more than my guest right now here in the studio. Please join me in welcoming Kyle Boynton. You are the community engagement uh, manager, person, our it guy for yeah. Bloodworks Northwest. Absolutely. Welcome. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to talk to you about all this. This is, I mean, we've had a great chat in the green yes. room about how we both have intimately come to love blood. Yes, absolutely. Because if you're somebody who is afraid of blood, I want to say don't be afraid of blood. No. Because blood is life. <laughs> yep. It's, it's what keeps us going in many, many ways. Let's talk about Bloodworks Northwest. First off, tell us a little bit about it so we get to know it as, as an organization here in our beloved city, but also how many people donate. Yeah, so we've been around um, for 75 years. We were originally wow. the Seattle, uh, the King County Blood Bank back in World War II. And then over time, as uh, we expanded outside of the Seattle area, um, we became the Puget Sound Blood Center. And then we kept kind of expanding and working with hospitals in the Pacific Northwest. So we recently became Bloodworks Northwest about five years ago. Wow. Um, so we are the largest um, blood bank in the Pacific Northwest. We supply blood to about 90 local hospitals. Um, all of the blood that we collect stays local and supports um, these community hospitals that we work with. So um, we have about 250,000 active blood donors in our database right now. And so that um, is very key and crucial to, to maintaining these really good relationships with hospitals. So we always need donors. And even at that. Yeah, even at that, we, you know, we're also seeing, um, you know, our older demographic um, starting to age out, whether that's with um, medications they're on or, you know, things like that. So we're actively trying to find creative ways to bring in um, the young people to, to donate blood. And, and young people and their, and their healthy blood. Yes. Which yes. we desperately need. Yes, we do. Speaking of that, you are brilliant because you have identified a place where you can access those healthy yeah. people <laughs> and their blood. Tell us about this. So I have to admit, um, I was one of those people that was attracted to McMinimins is what we're talking about. Who isn't? I, I was a huge fan of McMinimins even before working at Bloodworks. So yes. when the opportunity came uh, for us to work with them here in Tacoma, it was like a no-brainer because they are one of those establishments that are very rooted in their communities. Yep. They have great respect for these buildings that they ca they take on and they, they convert into these fantastic hotels, restaurants, venues, you name it. So it was very exciting to get to uh, talk with them about this. So basically what we did is we um, you know, started this partnership where we um, are doing monthly blood drives at the Elks Temple here in Tacoma. So we started in November. We had about 64 uh, registered donors who came in. We collected 52 units of blood and we actually had um, I think it was like 32 first time donors, which is amazing for That's a first great. time blood drive. So um, we put out all the stops for this. Like everybody got this really cool co branded t shirt um, that says, uh, Give Blood or Elks. We love a good <laughs> pun in the blood industry. Um, and they also got discounts for food um, after their donation because it was it was awesome to be able to you know see people come in and donate blood and then go get the famous McMinimins tater tots. Thank you, which they are so yes, good. They're, they're so addicting. I don't Boy, know. now now that I think about that, if you put blood blood donation equals McMinimins tater tots, yeah. That's what? why we got 64 donors. Watch, watch the masses <laughs> right. ascend on McMinimums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Um, you have a story that I find is really the story behind the story we're telling right now. Yes. About uh, how something that happened to you early yep. on set the stage for your blood works position. Will Correct. you share that with us? Absolutely. So when I was um, in my early 20s, 22, 23, I um, had a really bad herniated disc on my L4, L5 vertebrae. Um, just being uh, an active uh, young person who feels invincible, um, it was kind of a shock to me to wake up one morning with severe back pain and unable to get out of bed. So an ambulance had to come take me to the hospital and I had to go through some tests to see what was wrong. We didn't know. Um, and it turned out that I needed to have really serious surgery on my spine. Um, and through that process, um, you know, they had to do blood tests. And I asked them, you know, why do you have to 
why do you have to do this? Like, I'm one, I'm afraid of needles, and two, two, like, you know, what this sounds really serious of what you're talking about. And they told me, oh, like, we need to make sure that we have blood on hand in case we need to save you. Um, oh. and, and fortunately, you know, I, the surgery went, was a success and I'm able to run half marathons and all that fun Way stuff, to go. but it was this, um, this like real life moment that made me really think about that of like, oh, there's thousands of people that give blood every day to help people that are in similar stations or, or worse situations than I am to like make, you know, our recovery process that much smoother. Um, so when, uh, f flash forward to a year later when um, a family, uh, a friend of mine whose family puts on this blood drive every uh, couple months over in um, Kitsap County, they invited me to give blood and I felt like I had to do it. Because yes. uh, I was in one of those positions where, you know, I could have needed it. Um, and I think we all could need it at some That's point. Right. Um, so then when time came for me to, you know, look for a new job, I stumbled upon Bloodworks and was like, this is great. Um, Ta -da! I, yeah, exactly. So I was able to, um, you know, dive into the mission and really um, encourage people to donate blood, which is I love that. what I do. So let's talk about, um, I've mentioned on this program, uh, removing barriers with some mm -hmm. of our other guests. So mm -hmm. what keeps people from donating, Kyle? You know, um, part of our efforts in the community is um, really educating people of the importance of it. Um, mm -hmm. I think a lot of times uh, people don't know that you need to do that to help um, keep the community safe. It's, you know, it's part of public health and public safety and having a stable blood supply is very vital and important. Um, I also think you know, people don't know a lot of times that they don't need to know what their blood type is. You can come into a donor center, you can find a mobile and, and step on up as a first time donor and you can find out your blood uh, type in a couple days after you give blood with us. Um, you know, other things I think is a fear of needle, which kind of relates we back to my story. We talked about that, yes. We talked about that of, you know, it is a very um, serious phobia that people have, but um, I think it's it's one of those like even today when I donate blood I have to kind of look away I and just too. kind of talk to our amazing phlebotomists who make it so easy and seamless. Um, yes. And so really our goal is always to get out into the community and, and talk about why it's important. And, it is. You know when you donate blood you you impact up to three lives and that's the best. Oh, impacting three lives, mm -hmm. boy. That, boy. If that doesn't, if you don't want that between the dashes on your yep. epitaph, yep, that is the way to go. Mm -hmm. So, how long does a blood donation take? So, um, just with the whole process of coming in, registering, um, you know, doing a, a quick uh, interview with our phlebotomist to check your pulse and your vitals and all of that. Um, and then actually sitting in the chair. And then my favorite part is eating the cookies and drinking the juice afterwards. Mine too. <laughs> Endless um, amounts. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so that whole process itself takes about 45 minutes to an hour. But you sitting in the chair um, with a needle in your arm is anywhere between, you know, five and 10 minutes. My personal record is five and a half minutes. Um, go. So it, it, you, that's why we tell you to hydrate. You got to yeah. be hydrated and ready to go. Uh, yeah. Plumped up veins. Yes. So, um, so yeah, that's the, that's the whole process. And like I mentioned, we have incredible staff and amazing volunteers that make it a really great experience. Oh, you, the phlebotomists that, that draw the blood, it's like a little pinch. And I, I have know. to tell you, I have awful veins, yep. but these people are so good. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've, I'm like, it's in? Mm -hmm. you got to be kidding yep. me. I mean, they are that good. Yeah. If someone isn't sure if they can donate, mm -hmm. how do they find out? So the best thing to do is to go to our website, bloodworksnw.org. Yeah. Um, there's a tab that says donate and there's a whole page about eligibility. And so there's some really, there's a really uh, short, you know, frequently asked questions. And then there's a number that you can call or an email that you can write in with um, specific requests. Uh, questions about okay. about what's what's up okay yeah so last but not least uh none of this could could happen without some people who are just mm -hmm. integral to the part yep so who do we want to thank so i think the important people that we need to thank are our volunteers yeah. whether that's 
um, the volunteer blood donors that come in and pull up a sleeve and give something of themselves to help other people or those people who can't donate blood for various reasons but choose to volunteer with us. You know, we rely so much on our volunteer um, base, um, you know, whether that's, you know, coming to a blood drive and checking people in or talking to people after the donation, serving those juice mm -hmm. and cookies. That's right. Um, or even uh, organizing a blood drive. Like, that's very important, too. And it's a very that. good way to impact your community. Mm. Kyle, thank you so much. Thanks for, for having me. You're welcome for being here. And I uh, want you back on the couch to give us updates Absolutely. about how we can continue to keep uh, Pierce County healthy. Yeah, let's do it. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. All right. Well, that wraps up another great segment of City Line. Uh, it is our end of the year City Line, so I want to say a special thank you to our team here at City Line for all of the amazing work that we you have done for us in uh, 2019 and for all the great guests that we had on the couch. Uh, cannot thank you enough, so please continue in 2020 to go out there and pay it forward and be a part of the tapestry. And we'll see you right back here on City Line in 2020. Take care. Stay.